Phil, when someone tells you that filmmaking is a pipe dream, what's your reaction to that? <laughs> it, I mean, there's part of me that is, yes, it is. And the other part of me is like, no, it's not. Look at me. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm making things. I'm making film. You know, it's, uh, you know, I came into this with no connection to the industry, with no family members in the industry, with, uh, I didn't go to university, I didn't go to film school, I didn't, you know, I, it, it was it was as from the bottom as you could possibly imagine. Just with me pouring over my Jurassic Park annual for 1993 and seeing these like behind the scenes pictures of making Jurassic Park, thinking that's what I want to do. That's my calling. That's that's my thing. And yes, it's a pipe dream, but I'm gonna find. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna chase it until it isn't. You know, I'm gonna put every single thing of my being into it because, um, because it's only. I think it's only a pipe dream if you let it. You know, it's it's um, it's. Uh, I think for anyone that is struggling to find a foothold or getting loads of doors closed at them or maybe doesn't feel like they have that qualification or, you know, or that piece of paper that says you can do this thing. I didn't even know how you film things or how things got made or anything about it. All I had was passion and fascination with film, right? You know, it was, it was Jurassic Park for me and I, you know, Obviously, pre YouTube, pre like everything is at your fingertips. I got bought this annual in 1993 with black and white and pictures uh, of behind the scenes Jurassic Park, and they blew my mind. I was like, "How is that thing that has just taken me on this on this journey to this world completely fake? <laughs> you know, like how like who is this Stephen guy, and how has he done that to me?" Um, so, um, so everyone that back then said, nah, it's like, a, you know, I was, yeah, I was, I was like nine, 10 and I was like, I'm going to be a director. I'm going to, I'm going to be a director. I want to make films. And people were like, okay, what do you really want to do? <laughs> you know, cause like you're, you're fairly smart. Like maybe, maybe you could do this or maybe you could do that. And I remember being laughed at by, you know, a kind of career guidance person for, you know, wanting to be a filmmaker. And I think on my like automated test, it said I needed to be a dentist or something. Um, no offense to dentists, but like th that wasn't me. Just to my core, I've always wanted to do this. And actually that's been a blessing, I suppose, because I've never really wanted anything else. So, so you know, chasing the pipe dream is like, well, I'm going to throw my all into this. And if I never get there, you know, wherever there is, very different for different people. Um, you know, I can't say I haven't tried, <laughs> you know. Uh, I made those films, I went to those film festivals, I went on stage, I acted, I wrote, I, I did as much as I possibly could to build those tools of a director. So maybe if and when I got that shot to make something, I wasn't going to mess it up, you know. And my shot came from commercials, you know, which I never even thought in a million years. It was like, who wants to direct adverts? Like, you know, and then you realize, you know, they're a wonderful proving ground and place to kind of uh, make things. And also in a short, uh, in a kind of a short term um, project basis, it's supposed to feature something take years and stuff. So, and obviously the money's very good and that helps support other ideas and shorts and things. So, so yeah, I never thought I'd ask the nine-year-old me, like, you're going to make ads, uh, commercials, and be like, no, I won't. <laughs> um, so um, I would say it's only a pipe dream if you don't put everything into it, because that's what it takes, you know, um, because, you know, you are sort of toe-to-toe -to -toe in a way, maybe a bad expression, but, you know, you're, you're against other people that have, you know, ample amount of passion, enthusiasm, and they're trying to make things as well. And, and like, what's going to make you stand out against those other people? And certainly not laziness, certainly not sitting back 
and waiting for that phone to ring, certainly not kind of being so being proactive, you know, these are all things that you need to do to get your work out there, get yourself seen, um, and to kind of nurture and grow yourself, you know, as as a as a filmmaker. Um so I would say like anyone watching this that doesn't have those contacts or is facing all those shut doors, it feels like a little club and you're always on the outside. I'd say firstly, you always feel on the outside. Like you just do. Like you always think there's this party going on somewhere that you're not part of. <laughs> maybe there is, maybe that's just me. But um, you know, you always feel like, you know, you want to break down that door, get into that circle or connect with those people. I don't think that ever goes away. That's just part of it. That's part of making film. Um, but also like if anyone tells you you can't do it, it's like, screw you. Like I will do it and I will show you I can do it. And uh, and that's sort of what I did. Um, and then, uh, you know, passion and enthusiasm is very infectious. Uh, and I remember I had some amazing teachers at the time in my high school um, who stayed late with me so I could make films and they you know we couldn't afford I couldn't afford a video camera you know we couldn't you know we couldn't afford a camera as a family to make films which obviously is a bit of a stumbling block if you want to be a filmmaker and obviously again pre-phones having cameras and all stuff um so you know the the school bought a camera for the department so I could make films which I've forever like indebted to so I, and I made as many films as I possibly could you know um a lot weren't very good <laughs> but they they were my film school you know they were they were my film school I grew and I showed people can make film and people watched them and, you know they got into festivals and suddenly that pipe dream and that thing that feels very kind of like a childlike hobby you know it's like oh he's bless him he wants to be a film director so you're like oh wow he's making films and people like them and you know there's some progression happening and because I was so in I think partly so passionate and so kind of you know pig-headed I think about that is what I'm going to do and no one's going to stop me I think people either support you or leave you alone you know and, and luckily along the way I had some wonderful people and teachers that you know that supported me so thank you Donna thank you Tor <laughs> nice. this. all Shout these people out. that helped me grow you know um and uh you know top of the Oscar speech <laughs> uh so yeah it's um yeah so is it not a pipe dream is that what I'm trying to say <laughs> it's uh go get it that's a great story so because the the school had this camera Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Be because the school had this camera, you were essentially able to to make your first film. Yeah. Um, yeah, I made my first films that way, and also um, we had a kind of friend of a friend, a neighbor who had a VHS camera, um, and they uh, and I used to kind of clean her house so I could use her camera, um, and. Um, uh, and also um, I learned editing because there was a university, I think it was probably 4, 15, uh, 14 maybe. And that was, we had, they had linear edit suites, like VHS tape edit suites. And before then I was editing films on, you know, VHS players, so like Skype together and just like play record, play record, <laughs> you know, cause that's how I thought you would edit things together. Um, so suddenly I had access to this technology, which now probably feels very dinosaur, or is very dinosaur. But that really taught you how to edit, like working on a linear system where like you make an edit. And if that edit isn't right, you have to start again from the beginning. Like there's no drag and drop. There's no anything. You have to start again, the whole thing. Um, and again, that was my teachers and people, you know, they had friends or colleagues like in the university and they were like, look, can he come in and at a weekend and use that old dusty stuff in the corner, you know, to make stuff, uh, which I was very, very happy with and thought was amazing. Um, because, you know, with every film I was making, I was always sort of unhappy with 
some of the outcome, you know, is always kind of um, like, oh, on the next one, I'm going to improve that thing. Or maybe the sound wasn't right, I'm going to improve that thing. You know, oh, I didn't really like the lighting, I'm going to improve that thing. And that's actually what became my, you know, as I say, kind of my film school of like teaching myself, um, trying, you know, what I was looking at, you know, big Hollywood films going, why does my film not look like that? I don't understand. Why can't I make my film look like this? Um, so I was copying and emulating and, and trying to make, you know, really low budget, you probably call Swedish version these days of, of, of films. Um, and, uh, you know, to kind of learn, learn the rope. So, um, so any kind of opportunity to learn another tool like editing or something I just grabbed with both hands and 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 uh you know and it, it felt that that was all uh, knowledge I needed uh the foundation I needed to kind of call myself a director at some at some point you know when I was making these films that's a great story I like that I like that and and what just just We'll move on from here, but did did the 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 people that said you can't do this? It's a pipe dream. Did they did they change somewhat? <laughs> you know, I don't know what happened to that kind of careers guidance person. Um, I think you know the, the 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 teachers that supported me and championed me and were there. You know, and even now, like now, you know, now being a parent, I think wow, you could have gone home to your kids. Like it's not easy being a teacher in a high school, you know, in a kind of comprehensive with all these kids. And then you stay late so I can make some films like that's that's actually pretty special. At the time, I'm just like, miss, can you just stay so I can film that? You know, it's actually the sacrifice that comes with that. And they're still very much and still very much in touch with them and still very supportive. And, and you know, and stuff is great. But yeah, all the um, I'm sure there's probably some sniggering maybe from like fellow pupils or other people thinking yeah good luck like he like thinks he's going to be Spielberg does he okay well, let, let's see um so maybe maybe hopefully maybe they've seen some stuff you're like oh are we, okay he's making a living out of doing this thing so um yeah don't don't listen to them you know if you want to do it and you've got the passion for it just go for it you know full head first <laughs> both feet, whole body, every, everything in, everything in. <laughs>